She knew who she needed to see, who would understand what she was feeling. The one person was Charles. I'm ready now. Then let's do this. They practiced for hours on end, queen by day, like ninja by night. You have exceeded my expectations. It's just, William. I don't know how he and I are fated to one another. When deep down, I feel like it's supposed to be to you. I don't feel the same way. I need to talk to William. I need to be honest as I can with him. William? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Emerald. If you haven't seen the other episodes in this series, you should go check them out in the playlist. All right, let's get started. I'm so nervous to see what's gonna happen in this episode. After Emerald walked back into the ballroom, after punching Divya, she felt great for what she had done. Peace was restored within the royal family. And while that never felt so powerful, never would she have ever done something like that before. She didn't know why, and in most ways, she didn't care. But she was changing. She could feel it. She crept away from the party early. She blamed it on her fake illness that Julia had made up earlier. She felt bad for leaving William alone, but she only wanted to speak to one person. She knew he would be the only one to understand this new emerald. Emerald rushed to her room to be alone. Charles is not gonna be pleased with her. That's not some like truth and light, punching people in the face. Aren't you supposed to be at the ball? I could ask you the same question. Let me guess, you needed a break? Don't talk to Zach! <gasps> I was just thinking about some things. What kind of things? Just relationship stuff? I was hoping I'd see you. Now you tell me, why are you out here? I wasn't feeling well. You don't look sick. I'm caught! Oh, you look excited. Different. I do? Could Zach see the change in her? Could he be the one to understand? You look beautiful. I mean that respectfully, of course. I'm just excited. There's a ballroom full of people and you're out here in the hall being excited. What's going on, Emerald? She wanted to tell someone. No! Absolutely not! We're not staying and talking to Zach! Leave. Nothing's up. Enjoy the rest of your evening. She knew who she needed to see. Who would understand what she was feeling? The one person was Charles. <gasps> she was careful this time. She slipped into her sleepwear and pretended to be asleep before she connected to nowhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, why is that here? You wanted to talk? I'm ready now. Then let's do this. Oh my gosh. Follow me. Oh my gosh, it's like a mock hunt. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, your turn. Punch, punch, dodge. Punch, punch, dodge. Dodge, dodge, punch. We're gonna do dodge, dodge, punch. Oh! Oh my goodness. Seriously? No, no, no. Oh, I'm copying him. Punch, dodge, dodge. Okay. Punch, punch, dodge. Punch, punch, dodge. Excellent. Fantastic! They practiced for hours on end. This music is like, it's got me so hyped. Bring it! Oh my gosh! Ow! Jeez! Ah, that's knocked me out! Get up! Okay, the music is too loud. Okay, I'm gonna get your download. <laughs> get up! Focus, Emerald! Focus harder! Oh my goodness! This is ridiculous! Where did I go? Am I behind him? <laughs> oh my gosh! What are we like preparing for to fight? Are we gonna like be in a war or something? Very good. <gasps> oh my gosh! She continued to master her skills night after night until... Does she like perfectly have it? Oh my gosh! I can't believe this! Oh! This is like all happening it's so fast. Like this whole other... Oh my gosh! She can check out Charles! Oh my goodness. Queen by day, like ninja by night. She had mastered her skills. Oh my goodness. How did I get any sleep if this is what I was doing during my sleep? You have exceeded my expectations. And an excellent time. So basically, I can kick your butt. Oh my gosh. I suppose, but just by a little. Oh my goodness. Whatever. I can so kick your butt any day. Oh, fine, fine, whatever. Well, I have to tell you something. What is it, Charles? I have a surprise for you. Really? What is it? I will show you. What is it? <gasps> Where are we going? Oh, no! It's like a day! He's falling in love with her! You did this for me? Do you 
like it? Oh no! I, I love it. It's... Well, what's wrong? It's just... William. <gasps> I understand. I will just get us out of here. No, 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 wait! I really want to stay. What's wrong, Emerald? Just tell me. It's just... <gasps> oh. I love William. He's a wonderful and kind leader. And he's very caring and attentive fiancé. He's never been cross with me. He always does the right thing. But I'm in love with his brother, too. I've changed these last few days. And, well, no one understands me anymore. Except you. <laughs> oh, no! I can tell you everything. I don't have to hide who I really am. And I'm upset because, well, William deserves honesty. He deserves to know the truth. But I also don't think he could accept the new me. I just, I don't know how he and I are fated to one another. When deep down, I feel like it's supposed to be to you. And at the same time, I'm heartbroken for William. I just don't know what to do. <gasps> oh, Emerald! Charles thought for a moment. Her predicament seemed impossible to have any good solution. He didn't know how to fix this. He didn't know how to make this easy for her. He loved her. He knew that. She was a completely different person than everyone really though, or everyone really thought. He suddenly found the only heartbreaking solution he could muster. And it tore his very heart from his chest to even think of it. <laughs> but it had to be done. It was the only way to keep Emerald from such torture. Emerald, I'm glad you like me. Oh no! Stop! It's gonna be the old I don't like you thing, so that way she falls, oh she doesn't like think he likes her. I'm glad we can share secrets and be honest with one another. But I... No! It was shredding his very soul to continue. Oh, no! I don't feel the same way. Oh! What? You... You don't? No, I don't. Oh! William loves you, and, well, you love him. We are just great friends who are spending too much time together. I need to go. Wait, not yet. Not like this. Oh, no. But he loves her. Oh. Darn it. That morning. I need to talk to William. I need to be honest as I can with him. I can't tell him everything, but I must start somewhere. He deserves to know who I really am. I want to feel strong and powerful. This is going to be a difficult conversation. She's gonna be like, what should I wear? Yeah. Um, black beauty. Let's see. Okay, cute. Something athletic. Oh, that's cute. Can you wear that as a queen to be? Just look at all the options. No. Okay, let's go with something athletic, because if we're gonna be all like, hey, William, guess what? Your girlfriend's a kick fighter and a karate puncher and a ninja, then like, I should probably look like that. Okay, time to find William. Oh, meanwhile. Ugh, Divya. Oh, Zachary, this is wonderful. I would like to be married right away, mother. Oh my gosh! Of course, of course! Well, just after your brother, of course. <laughs> but that could take ages, mother. She just locks herself in a room all day. I don't think she will ever be ready to marry him. That's continuously postponed for her illness. Zachary, shame on you! She hasn't been well. She needs time. You're right. I'm sorry, mother. Oh my gosh! But just as soon as William is married, I want to be married immediately. Absolutely, darling. Divya told no one about the fight with Emerald. She wanted to marry one of these brothers. And since William was already betrothed, she had to settle for Zack. Aww. She was going to be queen of Roland, one way or another. She didn't need any family drama before she could obtain a marriage first. So she is going to kill us after she married Zack. Princess Divya, I see your face has healed nicely. <laughs> yes, it has. Thank you, Mother Celia. I talked to the staff about using less wax on the marble. Obviously, Delia had told Celia the marble steps had been overwaxed and she slipped and fell. You're lucky nothing more serious happened to you. Yes, I'm lucky indeed. Well, I'm off to make you an announcement of your engagement. Thank you. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, in William's private study, King William was a patient man. He did not push Emerald or question her lack of communication. He tried very hard not to worry, but he couldn't help but wonder. <gasps> oh, had he done something wrong? Oh! He had spent much of the past few days in his private study. He needed to think. Just then. William? Hello, my sweet. Are you feeling today? Very well, thank you. I wanted to talk to you. All right. He expected her to call off the wedding. Oh! I wanted to say I'm sorry. Sorry? You? For what, darling? It is I who has failed to keep you happy. No, William. I'm to blame. You have showered me with gifts. You always listen without any judgment. Yet I choose to hide my true feelings. I choose to hide who I really am. Oh! Please don't cry, my hummingbird. Your hummingbird? Yes, Mrs. Petunia said it once. I found it fit you perfectly. They are beautiful. They capture your attention. The very way they move puts anyone in awe. Fragile and graceful yet. They are quick as lightning and intelligent thinkers. I feel it suits you. Oh! You really think all that about me? Of course I do. I need to tell you something. I want you to know some things. William somehow knew exactly what to say. She wasn't aware he thought of her so intently. She was ready to tell him almost everything. At first, the gowns were wonderful, but I've come to like other attire. It's not befitting of a royal, but I would like to wear such items. I would also like to hire a trainer. I want to learn to fight. I want an instructional arena to learn and defend myself and my country. I feel like being a queen is more than being kind and looking pretty. I want to be ready to fight and win for my country if the need ever arises. I want to be involved in all strategic events and decrees. I don't want to be a sideline queen. I want to be a leader that I would want to follow. I just need this. I feel it is right. <gasps> you surprise me more and more every day. I respect you for who you are, Emerald. If this is your wishes, I will accept nothing less. Philly, you don't find me unbecoming now? Are you kidding? I love you even more after hearing this. Emerald could not be happier. She knew now that even as her new self, he loved her. And even more than before, she knew now what she needed to do. No more stalling. No more second guessing. I'm ready. Ready for what, Hummingbird? To be married right away. Are you certain? Never more certain in my life. Then you have made me the happiest man who has ever lived. Ah, oh, they're getting married! Ah, oh, she's gonna be like this, like, cool kick butt queen. Oh my goodness. But, like, what about Charles? Charles still loves her and she's pretending not to love Charles. Oh, or no, she still loves Charles, but she loved William more, I feel like, you know, but Charles still loved her, but who's gonna, who's she gonna end up with? I don't know. Oh, okay. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you want some other episode series to watch, go check out the playlist. You guys, they're fabulous. And I will see you later. Bye!